Okay, picture this. Every atom in your body is pulling on every atom in the universe. Your car, the wall next to you, even your phone. They're all pulling on you with gravity. So why don't we feel it? And wait, if everything attracts everything else, why hasn't the whole universe just collapsed into one giant solid blob? Part 1. Why we don't feel everyday gravity Newton's law says every mass attracts every other mass. But the problem? Gravity is insanely weak compared to other forces. Example, you, say 150 pounds, standing next to a car that's like a ton in weight. The pull between you two is about a millionth of a Newton. That's basically nothing compared to Earth pulling you down with hundreds of Newtons. So yeah, the Earth completely drowns out the car's gravity. That's why you don't notice it. Part 2. Why the universe hasn't collapsed On the atomic scale, electromagnetic forces are way stronger than gravity. They keep atoms stable and stop them from smashing into each other. Plus, atoms and molecules are always moving. Thermal energy keeps stuff jiggling around instead of settling into one lump. And then there's cosmic expansion. Since the Big Bang, space itself has been stretching faster than gravity can pull everything together. That's why instead of one giant lump, we ended up with a cosmic web. Galaxies, clusters, and huge empty voids between them. Part 3. When gravity actually wins. If you pile up enough mass, gravity does take over. Huge clouds of gas collapse into stars. Stars gather into galaxies. Galaxies bunch up into clusters. And in the extreme, black holes, where gravity just crushes matter into something insanely dense. Quick fun fact, back in 1798, Henry Cavendish actually measured the gravitational pull between tiny lead balls in a super sensitive experiment. So yes, even tiny objects really do pull on each other, it's just ridiculously weak. Wrap up, everything pulls on everything, but the gravity from cars, walls, or people is basically nothing compared to Earth. And on a cosmic scale, stronger forces and the expansion of the universe keep everything from collapsing. That's why instead of one boring lump, we've got stars, planets, galaxies, and this amazing structure we call the universe. So yeah, next time you walk past a car or a building, remember, technically it is pulling on you. You just don't feel it. Gravity's everywhere, but it's the balance with all the other forces that makes the universe look the way it does.